Hey guys and welcome back to a live training session with um big warm blood. He's actually a Zweibrücke, like a Rheinländer, um, which is a German breed that comes from a like specific area and they are known to be big bodies. Um, you can't really see him yet, but I think you can already kind of tell that he's quite big. Um, so yes it's like 17 hands or something like that and i think it's something around one meter and 70 maybe 72 i don't know i'm not quite sure but you see i'm sitting on the mountain block and he's still very big um, I'm filming with my inside camera because I got some like comments um, about it but yeah so I'm not getting on the horse from the wrong side per se even though it's also not a bad thing to like get on the horse from the right side but I just wanted to clarify that so that was a very windy day honestly and he's like um He's not a spooky horse, but I was like, maybe it's gonna affect him some, but it actually did not at all. So yeah, and because he's such a big body, I'm just still working on getting him very loose and just like using all of this body in a good way. And yeah, so we are working on a lot of transitions and also um, side passing, travers and all of that. Today I started Traver and wrong rare and um, I don't even know how you say that in English, like, like the turn when they stand with the hind legs and then they just move their front legs. Um, yeah, so anyway. Um, yeah, he, you see, like, he sometimes kind of tries to mm, go away, like, out of the hand. Um, so when he does that, I try to not be, like, too aggressive with it, like, that I really want to limit it. I'm just gonna give a little leg and um, see that he just goes forward, downward, and that he gets the right precision um, kind of lets the neck fall a little bit so I would also suggest um, doing that especially if you don't know the horse because some horses might overreact in a way if they are already being pushy like that if you then just um, come with the leg really like obstressive in a way they can kind of take it as an offense so i would suggest you never to do it too much but also tell them that it's not how they should act and always just keep the hands very like still um so i think i already launched them a little bit before that so i was just working on my walk exercises meaning side passing and all of that and honestly i'm more so a fan of working the horses right when you get on them and what i mean by that is that you don't just like walk around without anything to do like without practicing anything because sometimes a horse can get bored or maybe they come up with like stupid things yeah, and you kind of saw that he wasn't crossing in the right way with the side passing just now, but because he's still learning and he's still trying to like learn how I do it and understands me and I don't want to push him too much and make him too uncomfortable um, because he's just going back into training. Um, yeah, that's why I'm not like it too much so this side was a little bit better but you see like he doesn't really want to go to the um first track like he kind of want to stop like a little bit earlier so i'm pushing him a little bit then he trying to like goes away a little bit um and for me it's really important 
that he goes forward, sideward, because it's forward first and then side passing. So we are just working on that, um, but it has been getting better and I might make another video with him where you can just like see it. So yeah, but no matter where your horse is at, I think it is always a great exercise because it just makes them um, broke at on the ribs um, and just also makes the whole body like loosen up and strengthens the connection from the hind leg to the front legs so there are just so many advantages um i suggest if you like training your horse if you have a young horse that you start doing that like very early on because then it would just be super easy so sometimes it also helps doing this from like a little loop um so you go on a loop and then you go like shoulder in and then you do like the travers um or you do like a little loop and then do you do um the side passing so there was like one step that was already kind of looking nice but he still needs to cross more as i already said but again like i don't want to force him like he isn't like a three or four year old um so he learned it like a while ago um but then no one really practiced it with him so i just kind of want to get him back to where he was like slowly and just retrain him in a like nice slow way so that he can manage himself nicely and understands his body and it's like when you knew how to do the splits when you were a kid but then you kind of forgot but then you have to stretch before you can do it like in a good way and I just always try to keep him connected because he's a long, big bodied horse. I just want to really ride from the hind leg up to the front, like up to the bed. Um, he does put his head down like nicely in a way, but I want him to be honest about it. Meaning that he not just puts the head down, but actually knows what it means because when the horses put their heads down the top line kind of like bends and raises which is better because um, then they can hold the rider in a better way and they have to step under like under the center of the belly um, which also helps them to even like go down with the head even more and that's when you build the top line and that's like really important um, so really really you really want to work on that like all the time at any time and yeah so that's why i think it is really important to do the side passing um and ride them forward downward because if they do the side passing with their head in the air it's hurting their backs and they're not gonna build any new muscling So, um, I'm trotting, as you can see, and our, like, um, arena is very deep. Um, it shouldn't be, like, such a big deal for him because, again, he's very tall, but, yeah. And you can, can tell that he is not quite loosened up in his back already. He's kind of like a little bit stiff in the shoulder part too. Um, he does react well on my inside leg. Um, but again, like he needs to be more like receptive to it, like a faster reaction, especially with the canner because with him, since he's so big, um, it's like very slow motion movement even though it doesn't look like that right now but it feels like that so i just want to always keep him active i think like this lead looks already a little bit better um yeah so i just want him to be aware of his four legs and that he doesn't just hold the head but really like does it with stepping under the center and i don't want to have him like too tight with the neck 
I always try to kind of, yeah, he can see, like, get him down a little bit more, give a little bit more rain, a little bit more space. Even though you wanna want him to stay collected, you need to kind of give him that space so he can actually step forward downwards. So I'm having very like low hands and they're like a little bit wider than he probably would normally be because normally it's like one hand in between but I'm just giving like I'm kind of like putting them a little bit more like uh, away from each other so that canner apart from like the trot to the canner transition that wasn't so good because he came up with a snack so um, after that I was just working on a trot um, canner transition that he would just stay down with his head and really step under again to like make like really just the part like out of the trot into the canner. So I'm not sure um, like my video like my recording ended like pretty much after that. So the better transitions just came like after that but anyway like I also try to not like sit um too much but do like the rising trot I think this uh transition was already better and he looks very pretty on her saddle I must say that um but he you can see I would say he can go a little bit more downward too